The Virginia Military Institute, AKA VMI, is one of the most prestigious military colleges in the country, training young men and women to join the military. And they're teaching the students meditation. But why is that? Stay tuned and find out why. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So I've been reading this book, right here, Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics by the amazing Dan Harris. And I was gonna do an end of book review, I'm still in the middle of it, but there's so much good information in this book that I just kinda wanna do some videos on some really cool topics in there. And if you would like to get this book, check out the description below, there will be a link. But anyways, part of this book, they go to VMI, this military institute, where there are college professors actually teaching these young cadets um, various forms of meditation. And there's a, there's a very good reason why. So let's talk about some of the topics behind this. So one issue that comes up is devout meditation practitioners, they were asking, is this ethical? You're teaching people who are going to war to kill people, you're teaching them meditation. And any of you who follow the science of meditation or you've checked out some of my other videos, like, this makes you more effective at what you do. It makes you better at the things you do. So they're wondering, is this ethical? But the great argument for this is that by teaching these cadets meditation, it could potentially actually lessen the casualties because something that happens when you meditate, you're allowed to keep your cool. You're allowed to, f you're, uh, you're able to focus. You're able to pay attention. So in reality, it could actually lessen the casualties. Imagine being in a combat situation and not freaking out and just spraying bullets in everywhere and potentially killing innocent people, right? So meditation helps these military men and women keep their cool a lot better and focus on what they're shooting at. Right. One of the other benefits to this is the vast amounts of scientific research that shows that meditation helps with PTSD. We live in a country, and this is in all countries, where war veterans often struggle with PTSD. This increases the likelihood of suicide as well as substance abuse. Meditation helps with PTSD because one, the whole practice is about bringing yourself back to the moment. PTSD is something that's triggered where your brain is reacting to something that happened in the past. So when you're practicing a meditation like mindfulness, you're constantly bringing yourself back to the moment. The other thing that meditation does is that it decreases cortisol levels. Cortisol is your stress hormone. So and when you're having a, an episode of PTSD, meditation will actually calm your body down. The other benefit to this is that meditation teaches us not to turn away from our experience, but to just embrace it and feel it and lean into it. So one of the concerns that comes up, obviously at a military academy, you got a bunch of these big bad people, you know, ready these killing machines. Some of the students were reluctant, like, man, if I meditate, are people gonna call me a wuss? Are they gonna call me a wimp? But one of the instructors, he made a very valid point. He said, I think that you're a wuss if you don't meditate. And I was like, dang, right? Because it's so true. Meditation is a practice where you're actually turning towards your experience. When you sit with yourself and you sit with your experience, with your thoughts, with your emotions, you're embracing them. Most of us, not just military personnel, but most of us, we have a tendency to turn away from our emotions, turn away from our feelings and completely avoid them. It takes a real badass to turn towards those things and just fully embrace them. It's about facing our fears head on and learning how to deal with them effectively rather than in toxic ways, right? Rather than snapping at people, rather than um, being verbally abusive, physically abusive, rather than turning to substances, it allows us to sit with whatever we're thinking or feeling, all right? But um, part of what uh, Dan Harris and his partner Jeff Warren did was they took this bus and they went around and they were teaching people meditation and interviewing people. So they met with a lot of the young cadets who were practicing meditation. So this next clip that I'm gonna show you, it's actually from one of the seniors at this college. And if you don't believe me, here's Dan Harris talking about this young man and what he said about what his experience has been with meditation. Take a listen. I was particularly struck by Anthony, an imposing senior who had recently enlisted in the Special Forces and looked like he too 
occasionally enjoyed a lemon for a snack. He said he had learned about meditation from his girlfriend, who, quote, is kind of a wannabe hippie. After she told him how it helped her with stress, he started doing 10 minutes at night in the library. He told us, it definitely changed my evenings and how I felt centered in myself. The voices and the narrative that I was constantly going through in my head just kind of faded away. I was more present in myself. To sit there and listen to this archetypal badass so accurately describe the benefits of meditation made my heart sing. And I fully agree with Dan Harris. Like this kid just perfectly summed up what happens when you begin meditating, all right? So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like, I'll do other videos on this. I'm not sure if he talks about it in his book, but I know Dan Harris has interviewed um, police officers. Like when we're talking about lessening the casualties of war, think about what would happen if we started teaching our police forces meditation. Think about how, how much officer-involved shootings might decrease if officers were trained to keep their cool a little bit better, right? So anyways, these are all topics that I'm gonna cover in the future, but again, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go check out this book, Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics by Dan Harris and Jeff Warren. I will have a link in the description below. If you would like to get the book, use that link because that's an affiliate link and what that does, it helps support the channel and what I'm doing here helps me make more amazing videos to help people like you with symptoms of mental illness. So go ahead and check this book out. We both win, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health, all right? And if you wanna check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap right there on one of those thumbnails. But as always, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.